What is up guys, Shinchi42 here and I know you guys are very much excited for the next Rise of Kingdoms update. I do want to let you guys know this channel is sponsored by Rise of Kingdoms and I also want to let you guys know in this video we are going to be talking about multiple selection of troops and the unrestricted movements. I am going to be demonstrating them to you guys here in the expedition and if you guys have not known this feature, I am going to be showing it to you guys and this is how it's going to be working out for the next update. And uh, you guys better tune in. Make sure you guys subscribe. Turn the notification on. There is going to be daily updates. And there is also going to be more of these future leak videos. And uh, just make sure you guys are tuning in so that you guys don't miss out. So most of you guys already know what Expedition is and if you guys don't know what Expedition is, there is a campaign tab and you can click that and get to the Expedition. Expedition is something that is very useful. You can get a lot of rewards here by completing the Expedition. But now I don't want to really take your time a lot for me to explain Expedition because I'm here to explain multiple selection of troops and also unrestricted movement. What is going to happen for the update is this, basically you can see everything here in the Expedition. Now I'm going to go ahead and click start and as you can see here in Expedition, if you guys didn't know, you can actually do a multiple select of troops. Typically we would send one unit only and this is the unrestricted part of the movement. I can go anywhere and this is like moving here, that's an unrestricted movement. And if there's a building here, I can work towards the building and march towards there. It's pretty much similar to, exactly the same as the Ark of Osiris. Now, if I want to multiply select units, I can also do that. And by doing that, I can just double tap. And as you can see, every unit have been selected from here. And I can march it toward there, right? But the only thing here, though, in the update, there will be an, uh, a feature where you can actually click on the commander itself and then you can double tap that probably is going to be double tapping and then you can select all the units and then they can all march towards the enemy so i've shown you guys two things already here is that uh, multiple selection of units in the expedition and which is going to happen once the update is rolled out is going to be in the open field battle and second is the unrestricted movement and we've shown you that by moving around like i can move him around like i can move ysg right now and uh, get him off the field. I don't need to click back. There's no back arrow, but there will be a back arrow still. But I'm, my point is I can move him without pressing the back arrow. So here's a picture that I have that you guys may probably have seen it already, but I'm sure you guys haven't really seen the Expedition one. But as you guys can see, there is a feature here where you can actually tap the commanders and probably right here right you can tap the commanders and then you can see those check boxes you can either you can check them as well then you can move them you can select which units you guys want to move and uh, that's pretty interesting you can multiple select the units and basically move them anywhere you want in the in the field and you can also gather with this with this style it's pretty amazing it's going to really change the gameplay of rise of kingdoms and i am super excited i don't know if you guys are but if you guys are excited let me know in the comment section below because i want to hear your opinions because i know if i'm excited i'm sure some of you guys are going to be excited and if you're not excited and if you don't like this change let me know in the comment section as well maybe you guys have a better suggestion on how we can move troops maybe you guys can suggest this in the in the comments and maybe we can address this or maybe the devs can see it in the comments but anyway guys i hope you guys have found this very helpful and a very intriguing and um, i hope to see you guys again on the next videos there will be daily updates make sure you guys are tuning in and i will see you guys again next time mm -hmm.